I've devised this finger exercise as many people who are learning guitar keep taking their fingers away from the fretboard when they're playing which makes it very difficult then to get continuity with a chord because if you're doing a chord you take your hand away before you play your next chord there's going to be this massive gap every time you do that and you're never going to get a flow for a song so trying to correct that we're just going to do some very basic finger exercises just to try and train your fingers to stay and hover very very close to the fretboard um, which means obviously your fingers will be a lot quicker in getting to the correct position if you leave them hovering over where you're next going to play instead of taking them away each time so this exercise involves all the strings we're going to do the same thing all the way I'm going to stop the metronome so we've got some timing the idea is that once you've got the hang of the exercise doing it at this speed you then speed it up yourself you'll know what to do by then and then start going faster and faster until you're really smooth with your movements all the way up and down the strings once you're happy with that exercise you then start to change the fingering so we're going to start with the first finger first fret on the first string there and the second finger second fret so you can see my fingers aren't moving away at all, they're just hovering. So we're going to do that all the way down the strings and I say once you've got the hang of that it'll be then first finger first fret and then third finger third fret. So it's going to be down the strings. Do try and use a metronome, there's often that app on uh, smartphones these days and it really helps you to get a good rhythm going. So here we go. I mentioned earlier um, when we were just looking at the basic finger exercises about chords and changing. Just give you an example. This is uh, the chord of C. I like to put an extra finger on the sixth string there so we can actually play all six strings and it sounds really nice. So C. Now if I took my fingers off to then play G7, it would take a while to find the chord again. And again if I take my fingers away then try and find C there's going to be a delay. So it should look like this. So this is C, G7, and C, G7. So as you can see, 
there's hardly any change in movement at all. It's just very, very tiny. And until you get the hang of that, you're going to find changing course incredibly difficult. So I suggest if you're a beginner and really want to start getting rid of those gaps in between changing chords, have a go at that by making sure your hand does not pull away, but it stays there ready to move. Have a good look at the pattern of where your fingers are meant to be, study the chord chart so you can see where your fingers are meant to go, and then have them ready just to move, so you've got the minimum movement. And whatever chords you're playing, always have in mind the next one that's coming up so you're ready and your fingers are ready then to move again with the most minimum of movement so you get that quickness of change of speed. Happy playing!